How's it going guys? Welcome back to Underminer. I, I woke up this morning with a under undermine. I guess I am an underminer. Whatever. Weird. Weird to suddenly get that wrong here on episode 12, I believe it would be. But I just woke up this morning and was like, damn, I immediately want to go do a run. I gotta like play around with some things. I gotta try and progress. I just had a, a, a strong, strong desire to play more of this game and wanted to immediately get right into it. And so I guess while I'm on the subject, I also just want to say thank you to everyone who's like still watching and enjoying the series. It's really awesome when there's like a noticeable overlap in, I, I don't have anything to spend thorium on. <laughs> <laughs> when there's an overlap in like games that I am genuinely super enjoying playing and games that you guys seem to be enjoying watching and considering like the amount of viewer retention there has been episode to episode I'm, I'm getting the impression people are, are enjoying this one and people in the comments have been kind enough to let me know that they, they're liking what they're seeing so thank you guys for that it's really awesome and I'm very excited to be playing more of it I... I really just want to, to like beat the next boss and and continue like some form of progression. You no, know, we built we defeated Celt back in part five, so there's a bit of a delay before more progression has been made. We gotta we gotta ramp things up a little bit. Take out this next boss. We've only fought the next boss once. I guess you can kind of count the gargoyles as like. I, I guess I guess I can't really like drive them back enough to just go swinging like that But I guess you can kind of count the gargoyles as the next boss. They're like Noticeably tougher than than the rock mimic was so that kind of jammed up our progress for uh, For a noticeable amount of time This looks new. We've had the claw one before but the tooth one Higher chance to critical strike. I, I assumed it was gonna be like vampirism or something a brindled and dark beast Perfect camouflage for stalking your nightmares oh, Apparently I have had it, but it very clearly is meant to like go along with this one Higher chance to critical and then this one when you do crit it's even stronger than normal But now we got the high chance of crits which like, now that damage has been upgraded a, a notable amount of times, it's pretty damn impressive. Like, you can start doing 50-60 damage, like, pretty high up there. I will not expect to gain as many things as I did in the last run to contribute directly to damage and DPS and things like that. But I, I just through regular upgrading, I still feel like... It's weird to be on a little track within the track like that. I still feel like we have the potential, you know? There's still, there should still be a good chance of being able to make it to the end boss of the dungeons. And now I know better what to expect. I can play more cautiously. Uh, I know the kind of weird patterns he goes for. I can immediately take this. Probably gonna go with exuberance to begin with and let's see what the curse is deal less throw damage but I bought that up top from Dibble before coming down so I was kind of hopeful to find an altar right away because I knew I'd be able to immediately undo it so that's like a, a strong a strong first step for for meaningful progress on a run like this I, I was tempted for the first time in a while to maybe invest in higher health, seeing as I am trying to go for a boss right now. Sustain yourself through adventure. Oh, this is the one where it's like every new room you gain back a tiny bit of health. I'll consider, I'll consider the curse one, but I'm probably better off looking around for like, seeing as I only have the one, um, what am I trying to say? the one bomb to work with currently I'm probably better off saving it a little bit oh god I could oh, I was standing in oil I couldn't jump saving it and trying to use it well that, that settles that to find like a secret room or something like that and I'll wait and see if there's a way to undo the curse before I bother around with any of that swap bombs and keys Nah, I don't think I really need anything that that guy's selling. 
No, actually, I bought the loyalty thing so long ago, and I don't remember ever trying to talk to him again after that. Thank you for being a loyal customer. Simple enough. He doesn't have anything further to sell. There's no gold or premium package or anything. Gold, a gold membership would be funny, seeing as gold is such a prominent part of the game. I'm having no real shortage of keys, and then I go into this room that's all about... Hey, do you need more keys? We could get you more keys. Oh, I hope the pilfers can't make it through that, because now I can just wait for the canary to gather up all the gold that landed on the wrong side there. It's very handy for me. I hope I can swing and hit that one. Not quite. No, I was thinking about whether I should use the bomb to get into there. There's a chance one of these might drop something useful. I would get a key and the gold. Ah, it's another thing I can think about if I end up with more bombs. I'm only sitting on the one right now, so I don't think I need to use it in such a silly manner when I have so many keys to work with. Ah, damn it. There's a bunch of swings there that just, like, were not connecting. Straight up just didn't find that much useful stuff on that level. And I, I don't think I want to spend the bomb on the curse or that goofy room where it was just loaded up with keys or anything. I'm gonna hang on to it and just kind of move on from all that. Whoops! That was a lot of stray swinging that just opened up a lot of uh, potential for gold to be thieved. Damn it. Damn it. This is a sloppy room. There's a lot of shit going on here. Misclicks. Misjudged. Not great. Those lurkers can cause a lot of issues in like such a small little room like this. There's like nowhere to run. You're just kind of stuck with whatever is going on. Well, I guess I'm burning down all those snakes. One of them just activated a, a pressure plate there and got himself sniped. Good going, dingus. I don't know which potion this is. I guess I'll have to look at my reference list. I think it's the protein one. I'm trying to learn a little bit more what things are at a glance. It would be... Protein shake. Totally is. I'm a genius. Float boots if I wanted. Ah, a cheap steak. I'll buy a cheap steak. 50 bucks is low enough that I might as well. Do you know what? I would have been better off just buying this. Or like, you know, using one key towards that rather than using one key towards the shop. It's kind of funny to look at that in hindsight and realize that that was like a silly, maybe a silly way to spend. Well, I would like you to get rid of all of these machines of super death. I don't want them to totally ruin my day. I'm just going to take him out because of him running into these fiery things and stuff while I'm trying to avoid getting killed just seemed like a little bit too much chaos. It's easier to just take Bob out of the picture and go in there myself. And the archer's pendant. More throw damage at higher health. Plus five for now. I wonder if it's a percent of your health or if it's in some way calculated based on how high your max health is. Like if you take on upgrades and things that are like uh, enhancing your max health, upgrades up top or the, the individual like blessings and things like that, I really don't know. But it, did that lurker burn to death i'm really shocked that it's dead already that's i don't really understand why it was over so quickly but yeah if, if i make my max health higher then like does that further improve the weapon types that are based around higher health be be interested to know how those calculations are run wow maybe fire damage is way more effective than i thought it was because like that Rat got really messed up really quickly there as well. That was kind of sweet. Oh, I don't care if it's only five. That's five that's meant for me and not you. Remember the days when episodes would consistently start with a totally botched run and then I would have to restart because otherwise it would be like a seven minute episode? Glad that doesn't really happen anymore. I think I'm gonna take additional damage. Cost shop. Co a shop's cost a bit more. That was a tough sentence to get out. Not not a curse I'm overly concerned with. Remove a curse, but 
it's a little bit expensive because of the curse I just took on. So I'm gonna see if there's a free curse removal. And if I get the free one, then I'll probably come back and buy the paid for one. Oh shit, there's a little bit of mines going around in this room. Nice! Okay, I love when that happens. I love being able to mine myself access like that. Oh, get out of here. Managed to run right at me with his big full uh, gold brick, gold nugget there or whatever that I was able to steal away from him. His fault for running at me like that. But I kind of wanted to run a loop of the map and try and activate any mines intentionally. So you don't activate them while you're trying to be in the middle of a battle or some shit like that. Deal more throw damage. Extra, extra blessing to go along with the, uh, the throw speed? Faster swing. That's the first, no, the pendant. The pendant is the, uh, the other one that I have. Okay, so I got two things adding to throw damage, actually. <laughs> you can feel it, can't you? That additional power. It starts to feel good. It uh, becomes, aw, becomes a real temptation to do nothing but throw. So I'm being an idiot there when that guy was clearly easier to, to just chop. Hmm, I gotta figure out, no wait, I don't have fire damage or anything, I can't ignite that. I'm sitting here trying to ignite it, that was totally a different run, a different day. It's not a permanent ability of mine. That worked out really well. It was a nice free key to, to turn up. And now, second secret room. High potential. I, uh, I don't have enough thorium, I found. Oh, that's the first blueprint I found in ages. That's really exciting. It might be a blessing or something even. Resurrection. Crafted at the blacksmith. It's still a blacksmith. Relic. Is that like a second chance, like an ank or whatever that would revive you if you die? But I wonder if it brings you back with like really minimal health or if it puts you backwards a room, whether it revives you in the spot. That's uh, that's like a pretty important question. Oh god, did I just activate another secret room? How is that even possible? Ah, holy sh shit. <laughs> There's some shit going on in this room, but it's coming together quite well still. You die. Die. Ah. Couldn't really jump away at the wall like that. That that might be the room I was just in. It's just accessing it from a different angle. Okay, I didn't think there was three... The possibility for three secret rooms. I felt excessive. Didn't think it would be a thing. I could risk a curse from this. And know that I can go buy a curse removal. Maybe I'll get lucky with uh, a totem sometime soon here. Free food at the shop. But not, not quite anything, I can't light those in any way, not quite undoing the, the expensive shop thing that I gotta deal with at the moment. I only have the one bomb, but it's, the likelihood of chests dropping bombs is always so high, and I've already found every secret room on the floor, so I think it's probably not a bad idea to just try and blow through this. It's funny though, I've actually never seen one of these things just on top of water like that. I didn't realize that was like a permanent interaction that would take place, that it would just be permanently cycling uh, electrical water like that, and it makes sense. I, I've just never directly seen it. Not any reason to hop down here. Now I can't really go get that curse. I don't really want to spend the expensive amount on holy water. I think I just can move on at this point. This, oh, in a room where I can just focus on just attacking this thing. But it keeps running into quarters and things. No, I wasn't getting any attacks there. Ah. Oh. That could have been so much better. I didn't have to worry about, like, anything other than attacking that guy. I can't believe that I couldn't, I still couldn't pull it off. There's too many tight quarters and things going on in panic where I start swinging an inch in front of it. So I'm, it's, like, not quite there yet. That really sucks. I mean, it's still a pretty good payout overall, though. 
completely derailed whatever it was I was thinking coming down into the dungeon here. I'm sure it wasn't important. I'll I'll get by without whatever that one random thought was. If these fire guys and the water guys get together, they should really cancel each other out. They should make some sort of steam blob. Blobs should start gloops, I think is maybe what they're actually called. They should fuse together now and again. So like a fire one and a water one meets up at steam, fire and oil, it makes like molten or something. I don't know what they would be, but it would be neat if they, if you like allowed them the ch opportunity to get near each other, that they latched on and became like super versions. The intensifier, I seem to be finding this one a lot lately. Kind of weird how often it keeps coming up. I'm hoping it works in the boss room. In the sense that every one of his little marbles that I kill would be an additional add-on. Did I buy a thing to add more blessings to this? No, I didn't. I didn't have the money for it. I could remove a curse. But I'll, I'll explore the level first and see if I have another way of getting rid of this curse before I bother with this spending on anything like that. That one guy just chucked himself straight into the hole. That uh, really makes my job easy. Thank you. Thank you, uh, little mites, for not being the worst for a change. That really brightens my day to see it just give up like that. Nah, no, I've had enough of being a dick and causing issues for poor little Olive Kerr and his friends. I'll just go down into this hole where I belong. Nice, getting my bomb back. Damn him! He just ran straight into the the abyss with that. That's an example of where I don't want you to chuck yourself into a hole. Garbage. Transforms all relics for a discounted price. That would be really cheap if uh if I didn't have the curse right now. I already I already acquired the relic in this in this level though. I didn't notice this until just now. Quickly pop up in here. I can jump over this, right? Okay, good. But what's with the the table? Is it gonna have like a blueprint on it or something? Oh, weird. I just like it's just a dud of a secret room, I guess. If I find a bomb, I might come back and blow up that table. Because I feel like there's Oh, that was a bad jump, but I tried to pull out of it. Should have just committed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance if I come back to that and blow it up that that'll be like a good way to get a blueprint that just like makes sense to me I don't know if that would actually be the case. Oh, I love that. I can one-shot those guys currently <laughs> Nice Pain <laughs> Death Good Oh, I hate these spider filled rooms not because I have any... I, I don't like spiders, really. I don't hate them. But I, I don't like the spiders in this game because of their strong possibility to, like, poison me. So I hate these spiders more than I hate real-world spiders. Between, like, the archer's pendant and the intensifier... Oh, I just went up by more, too, just because of the, uh, the adventurer's reward thing. What was it called? Totem of Life. It just went up even more. But my throw damage is pretty out of control if I just keep, like, piling it on, throwing it at everything. Alright, at the bare minimum before I leave this floor, I should spend the 50 health to remove this current curse. I don't think I'm taking on a blessing from this. I'm just going to focus on removing the curse. Bomb... Dungeon level two. Well, things are going well. I'm not as out of control strong as I was like the last run I did. But things are going pretty well for me overall still. Everything in this room just decided to wander straight through the hole there. That was uh, pretty embarrassing. I don't know if these guys have like a boss or whatever. But you shouldn't expect to keep your job for very long if that's the kind of... Uh, like how you act in the moment when you're needed most big call to action taking place and you just ram yourself straight into a hole like that I wouldn't expect you to have much job security if that's the way you're gonna be that went well 
just going hard on the offensive has been working out pretty well for me in in recent history. It's it would be so foolish to skip yourself straight to the dungeon. I guess if you're doing a run where you're just worried about acquiring gold, I don't know, but the most a gold acquired always seems to take place uh, in the runs where you're like the strongest and have the most opportunity. But like getting into the dungeons or the one after, that's where like the most gold is gonna be. So if you feel confident enough that you can do like a really sloppy run where you just don't live all that long, but you live long enough to go collect maybe 3,000 or something, like 3,000 as a takeaway to bring back up top, I guess I can see where that would be the appeal. I'll wait to come back. Healing more effective. I would be more interested in the max health because of what I was talking about with the archer's pendant. I could improve throw damage a bunch again though. If I really commit to that, that could be really strong and helpful, but I feel like the swing damage is probably more effective against the boss because you can hit multiple of his orbs at once. And I, I feel like that is like a, a really good thing to have, is to be able to kill multiple of those at once, if at all possible. Oh, I didn't even realize this guy was over here doing his thing. I would like to immediately put a stop to that before that gets a little too out of control, a little too crazy. Yeah, drop your bomb. Ah, oh, it landed exactly in the middle. I, I wanted him to blow up a statue for me so I could maybe get a something free out of that. Oh, I just remembered I immediately have uh, the spike boots. So I'm gonna do this just because it's fun for me and just very satisfying. I haven't had the spike boots in a long time. Yay! I just realized I have 101 thorium. That's pretty insane and I finally found a new uh, blueprint. And I'll immediately get to actually use it. Oh, come on. Do I need to just barely have upgraded my my axe? There might be a way that I could get away with this by doing something like this. Oh, these aren't the things that you light. These are the things that you blow up. Or are they the one that I'm supposed to step on the spikes? Oh, this is a type of spike that actually deals damage no matter what. Waylon's boots don't counter it. That's really interesting and specific and something I haven't seen. Temporarily increases throw damage. I think it might be real nice to have something like that going into the boss battle. So I think I'm, I, I know I'm a little bit away from that still, but I think it would be a good idea for me to take that and just have it in my back pocket. I just took on a bunch of damage with the, the spike room there feel like that's probably worth it. I'm gonna risk this for better throw damage. Deal less throw damage. <laughs> I wonder which uh, wins out in that though. Weird, this has been up to 14 before. Oh, so even it is being lessened. That's interesting. So they, the amount these are contributing is probably lessened, the amount this contributes is lessened, and the amount I normally throw is lessened. That might have taken a really major hit to my throw damage. Luckily I still have two floors to get rid of the curse, that was part of my logic is that like, I should, hopefully, fingers crossed, have ample opportunity to deal with this. I still deal, like, pretty good throw damage. It's just, uh, it's a shame when it could be so much more it was so it was so much more just so recently what's this guy avoid falling in the holes it's just a potion that does that I only took three damage in that room apparently uh, moving on hmm I wonder what I do here oh, I think I'll just break all the spikes that seems like a good thing to do nice <laughs> spike boots are often not that valuable. I just kind of happen to have been coming across spikes now. That's not always, there's not always just like endless amounts of spikes all over the place to contribute things. I'm just gonna take you guys out immediately. The more I dance around it, the more likely they are to like heal each other a bunch and get more shots off on me. And I have that fish waiting for me back in the shop. You drop your bomb. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, 
use these bomb guys to my advantage as much as possible and it's not really working out a ton. I'm not getting anywhere near as much out of it as I would like. That's fine. I'm gonna keep trying. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You guys are dumb. I'm just gonna leave and let you get hit. <laughs> Got kicked straight into there. The the foot soldier, footman, just walked himself straight into the pit. And I was really hoping that I could push her into getting hit by the spinning thing. Didn't expect her to get tossed like that. That was incredibly satisfying for me. I should wait and see if there's another way to remove the curse. Uh, I'll just see if, like, Bath Cat, or no, Black Rabbit, or in, like, the other room. The leftovers. Oh, I actually have, like, bombs. Like, a significant amount of bombs for a change. I'll think about it. I'll think about it if I, I kick up a few more bombs. I would rather not dump myself immediately down to, like, one if I don't have to, you know? Just finish that all up nice and quickly. Oh, I thought I could kill it before he did his poison dump. Jump on over. Probably back off on the reckless play for a minute. Because that's, uh... I'm just kind of taking damage just to get certain things, like, over with here. Damn. Maybe I gotta upgrade my bombs. Get a better blast radius there, because it never actually seems to work. Sweet. On a run where I've actually been finding so many keys, it's very satisfying to finally get that. I I can go and buy or spend at that altar that will deal whatever it is, 50 damage. Ah, damn it. And then immediately go back to the shop and claim that salty kebab that I had left behind there. And then I just gotta think if I use anything at Bath Cats. What was it? Four bombs for what? Oh yeah, I'll go with leftovers. Sure. <laughs> I didn't find like a secret room or anything on this floor, so that's about all I'm gonna get. 75, ah, it's a bit more on later floors. But now I have that totally removed. I probably am at a stage here. Oh wow, I have enough things that they just shrunk. I've actually, I don't think I've seen that happen before. I think I've reached a place all of a sudden where I am not going, ah, whatever. I'll see if these guys have anything. Ah, maybe a waste. Probably won't take any more curses until I'm in like specific positions where I know that I have a guaranteed way to undo it like waiting for me. So I'll probably end up being a little more careful about that. Do I buy that bomb? I guess I don't buy the bomb. Couldn't, couldn't make up my mind on that one. Dungeon 4. This has been a pretty, like, easy-going, breezy run. And I don't know if that's because I've been finding pretty good items, uh, negating curse as well, things like that. A chunk of thorium. I don't think one of these guys has ever tossed out some thorium for me before. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> but maybe I've just finally tipped over into I have enough personal upgrades, I've learned the game well enough, that I know I can get away with and all that, that I just don't have to worry that much anymore. Coat your weapon with poison, a thick black oil consisting of venom from the kingdom's deadliest creatures. This poison acts quickly, reducing movement and inflicting pain. I might try and chug two potions before going down to the boss battle. A guaranteed way to get rid of a curse. Alright, I don't have to worry so much if I come across an altar, so now I kind of hope that I do. But if I can chug a potion, run back over that way, and like make it in time, chug another potion and take that down with me, I'll have to prioritize which one I like most want to actually uh, to have an effect down during the boss battle because like just in case it doesn't last long enough or anything like that I was doing a bunch of 80s and stuff there my damage is like pretty good right now and with my crit likelihood uh, so enhanced I can get away with quite a bit 66 crit I guess criti critical hit improvement uh, odds would affect throwing and swinging so either way I'm kind of covered there I'm just gonna dish out criticals all over the place continuously I like the idea that in the gold mine you're mining gold right out of the rocks 
Uh, but now down here, it's like you find these little altars, these little statues that carry that stuff. I'm gonna go try and take this guy out because he's just like dicking around in the corner up there. He <laughs> caught yourself shot, did ya? But now there's like a, a thematic shift where you're, you're, you're finding them in a different place. So I'm curious on the floor beyond this, because I'm pretty sure there's three different like levels to deal with. I'm curious what... That went really, really well, didn't it? <laughs> I'm curious how gold will be presented to you down there, because I imagine they'll have to come up with another way other than it just being in the walls. It was confirmed by people that you can literally just take eight curses to skip the boss and go to the next area. But, like, eight curses is run-ending. There's, like, you're guaranteed gonna get a few of the really tough ones. But even if you got nothing but, like, the lamest, weakest, wimpiest curses, that's still gonna mess you up. Like, it's not gonna be easy. You're going to die. You're gonna be at half health. Things are gonna deal double damage. Jumping's gonna hurt you. Everything's gonna cost too much. You won't be able to afford anything. Like, it's... It would it would slow you down in so many different ways that you'd be you'd be kind of toast. All right, I know I can go buy curse removal, so I should immediately buy something. Healing's more effective doesn't matter to me right now. Faster swing speed or throw damage. Throw damage. Faster swing speed is I think what I'm taking. Less swing damage. Immediately undoing that. I'm immediately losing a key, so I'm undoing a tiny bit of my keyblade damage there in the hopes. Uh, temporary damage when picking up gold. Not really going to help me during a boss battle. It's weird that these even bother shrinking. There's plenty of room for them to just extend out there so, so far. I don't know if they would look cluttered or what, but now it's almost... I, I guess I know well enough what they are, but they're like a little bit less easy to read at a glance. I'm fairly confident that that was worth the trade-off of losing a key, though. I'll probably try... I don't know which one I'm gonna chug. <laughs> I will chug down the throw damage one whiplash serum and take this guy with me. So I have that for a minute and 11. It's not great. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to make it down to that boss battle, like, real quick here. Oh wait, I still have about 50 seconds left on that. I don't know if it's still counting during this, it wasn't really. Uh, okay, immediate poison chug. Chug, chug, I'm just mashing the chug button, waiting for the opportunity to present itself. There we go. Alright, I have the chance to do poison. Ah, he starts with his arm move. I maybe should have waited for the arm move to happen since it kind of chases me around and stops me from being able to output damage. Oh, I'm standing in water. Okay, I think the water placement in this level is more annoying this time than it was previously. Because that's a huge pain in the ass. I'm hitting him as well as his orbs here, which I, I'm liking. Ugh, I was standing too close to him. Alright, way, way greater focus on throw damage for the next little bit because he was really getting into my shit there. And I'm not cool with that. Oh fuck, that was, oh, I was not prepared really for that. I should have been, but for whatever reason I wasn't really. Try to keep doing damage as much as possible, as often as possible. God damn it. Getting up close and personal with this guy is too tough because when he floats the tiniest bit, like five of his orbs connect with you at once and it just does insane damage. Okay. Oh god, he's dropping those right on me. Oh, I've landed, I've landed in the thundery bit there, the water. Oh, and when he calls them back to himself, they hurt you as well. Shit, he's doing new moves. Try to just fuck this guy up for the next, next minute here. Oh, ah, he's calling them in so close. I'm so scared about where they are. How close they're getting to me. Fuck. Fuck this. Is this like his move now? Is this all he does at this stage? I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting because he's probably going to try and do other things still. So I still want to stay out of the water and everything. Oh, I'm like shaky. My hand is vibrating a little bit. It's, uh, it's not good. Oh, no. That was... I c 
could have done it. I could have done it there for sure. No. Oh, there was some bad, stupid damage to take early on there. Oh, fuck this guy. I could have done it. I could have done it. That's a shame. It's a damn shame. I don't know how much gold I made off with. Not much, actually, which is too bad. Fuck, I could have. I bet I could have. I could do throw range. Throw range could be pretty helpful against this guy. We can go see what this is all about. 46. Holy shit, it costs a lot, but luckily I have a lot. Resurrect on death. To be blessed by Din is to have deep pockets or know someone who does. Well, that gives me a pretty good chance going back down, I think. That if I were to die, then I would just totally uh, revive. I'm going to see what my throw range is like after that upgrade. Pretty wonderful. Just net. Just you guys wait and see what just net can do. I'm going to do a hyper fast, hyper edited secondary run here right now to try another attempt at that boss. Fucking. There it is. That was just. It just wasn't going that well in like any way. That was just a disappointing run. I don't know. You guys didn't miss anything. It was a waste of the resurrect. I shouldn't have. I, I, I shouldn't have just ran back in like that. That was, I, I don't know, stupid, pretend it didn't happen. You guys didn't miss anything important at all. I'm going to expand the shop's item supply in the hopes that things that are useful to me come up more op often. Transmute 3 installation installs a transmute into some shops. Dirk the Alchemist discovered a way to turn blood into transmutogen. He sold his creation to the Pilfers for an unknown amount. So, I thought maybe it would be I could turn a potion into a different potion or something, but can I pay health to gain a, a, a potion or something? Interesting. I am kind of uh, looking forward to maybe being able to uh, buy that one. See what kind of good it can do. Well, that was stupid. I don't know. I guess I, I need uh, to take a, a minute away from the game here. I'm not going to play again right this second. Smark will, Smarky will have to wait. I'm going to get that boss. But the next the next attempt, uh, locked in. Because now I feel all deflated and I don't have the energy to bring into a big fight. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.